No one, with the odd exception, attempts to remove the debt placed on countries by the IMF, International, International Monetary Fund. No one attempts to reinstate the correct currency within Muslim countries. Now, Sheikh Imran Hussein said that no one in the UK, according to his knowledge, will condemn the monetary system. We are in the UK, and I say today, and I have said in previous lectures, that the monetary system is fraudulent. What makes us realize that the monetary system is fraudulent? If today the British pound collapsed, if today the British pound collapsed, and you have 50,000 pounds saved in your safe at home, when the pound collapses, you open your safe, what will that paper be worth? The paper will be worth nothing. But with that £50,000, if you bought gold and silver, and the economy collapsed, and you opened your safe, will that gold and silver have value? The answer is yes. Now, despite my disagreements with Sheikh Imran Hussein on many things, I agree with him on this. So from the UK, I say that the monetary system is a fraudulent system that we have today. So one of the first things that a Sharia compliant government must do in the modern age is to sort out the weak economy of the Muslim world.